Once cycling is in your blood, you cannot get rid of it. In pain, there's pleasure. The best professionals in the world will tell you that you have to love riding a bike. Otherwise, you'll never, ever become a top professional cyclist. The pain goes with it. Well, they're all suffering and laughing at the same time, you know, and then afterwards the stories, the banter, all the fishermen tales come out. One of the things about jumping onto a bike is I think you can experience a lot of change. You would feel the difference in the seasons. You can feel the freshness of the air once the, the spring starts to come. The wind that ruffles through your hair is an amazing thing. And, and the vibration of the road going through your arms. The fact that you, you've got that little bit of freedom when you can open your eyes and look around and you can see the fluffy clouds in the sky, the greenness of the terrain in some places, or a storm cloud that's starting to rise off in the distance somewhere. And when you see that it's raining way over there in the distance, 50 or 60 kilometers away, and you're riding in sunshine, that's an amazing feeling. I can open my eyes now. For me, cycling is about bringing people together and to challenge yourselves. If you, you find yourself doing something that's really tough, like you might be climbing a really steep hill and, and you're all looking at each other thinking, what are we doing, this is crazy. People get very attached to their bikes. It's essentially a, an extension of themselves. It can be a piece of art, it can be a piece of transport, it can be a pleasure machine. You really get out of cycling what you want to put into it. You see things that you don't see in the car and you smell things and you know you come over a crest and you duck into a valley and you feel that three or four degrees that, that it drops and you're on your own terms, you know you've got that freedom. Terrain in South Australia is very special because the Adelaide Hills are so close, 20 kilometres and you're climbing in some beautiful countryside and you would never know that the city is so close. To be uh, up close and personal with it, where you can just about um, you know, touch the boys as they came past. Cycling to me is always about the will to finish, the will to terminate, the will to get to the end. This is it. When I cross the finishing line today, I'll never ride the bike again. And then the next thing is, you go and do it again. And you'll suffer just the same.